Hey there folks, I've done a number of videos about the Boeing 737 MAX series aircraft and it seems like we've come to the conclusion that there was a fault in the angle of attack sensor and with the MCAS software. But it seems like recently I'm getting a lot of comments from people saying it was the crew's mistake. Where is this coming from? I'd like to thank contributor Ken Whitfield from Hawaii, who mentioned this. U.S. House Transport Representative Republican Sam Graves said that an American crew would have handled the situation. The Seattle Times found two examples of American pilots in the simulator who were prepared to fly the crash scenario. This is what happened. To try and prove the notion that US pilots could have overcome the emergencies that brought down the Lion Air and Ethiopian Airlines jets, the trade magazine Aviation Week describes a simulated test as part of recurrent training by a US-based 737 MAX crew that recreated a critical part of the crashed Ethiopian flight. The simulation indicated that the pilots faced a near impossible task of getting their 737 MAX 8 under control. Starting from the point where the Ethiopian pilots hit the cutoff switches and stopped MCAS from operating, the US MAX crew tried in the simulator to recover the aircraft. What they found was the forces on the jet's tail prevented them from moving the manual wheel in the cockpit that would have corrected the nose-down attitude. To get out of it, the pilots used an old aviator technique called the roller coaster, letting the control yoke go to relieve the forces on the tail, then cranking the trim wheel and repeating this as many times as necessary. This technique has not been in a US pilot training manual for decades. Using this technique, the US MAX crew managed to save the aircraft, haha, <laughs> but lost 8,000 feet in the process. The Ethiopian MAX never rose higher than 8,000 feet, indicating that from that point in the flight, the crew could not have saved it. So, where did Republican Sam Graves of Missouri get his information from? Graves was repeating the main points in a report written by two pilots at a major US airline and pointed to pilot error as the most consequential factor. But it turns out their report was commissioned and paid for by institutional investors with large holdings in Boeing stock. The truth is out there.